I read an article in the St. Albert Gazette, Kevin Ma did a super story, and it was actually about my former neighbor. And he put uh, solar on his house in about 2014. So I called him up and I said, Craig, can I come over to your house and take a look at your, uh, at your system? He said, absolutely. And so I was so impressed with the fact that he was generating his own electricity. He'd cut his, his electric bill by 60%. I said, wow, this is something I got to find out more about. Are you one of those people who loves the idea of producing your own solar electricity on your home? Solar is cheaper than ever. It produces no emissions and it will save you money over the long term. So what's holding you back? You have questions, we have answers. This week we talked to Ron Kube, a guy who installed solar on his home and Clifton Loftog, owner of Great Canadian Solar. We asked them what you need to know before taking the leap to a solar-powered future. So it's as simple as this. The sun is creating electricity off the solar array. On this particular install, there's 34 solar modules on it. That energy is going to an inverter. The inverter is converting it to a type of electricity that's usable within the building. How do you know if your home is good for solar? Well, generally we like really looking at their utility bill, uh, like Ron has here. Uh, there's usually a bar graph on each bill that really shows us how much energy they're consuming annually. Uh, from that, we can go out and look at their uh, rooftop and see what kind of solar access they do have. There's great uh, gadgets out there that uh, will actually tell you automatically how much sun you'll get on the roof in that particular point throughout the year. And it wasn't until I started talking with uh, Great Canadian that uh, there was the possibility of putting the solar panels on the east facing side, which I didn't realize. And so when they looked at our power bills and said, well, you're using about 9,000 kilowatt hours a year in 2015, are you interested in going full net zero, uh, which means putting solar panels on the east side of the house? And uh, I said, yeah, let's, let's do that. That's a great idea. Ron and Carol Kube installed 34 solar modules. It's a 9 kilowatt solar system on their home, enough to provide all of their electricity over the year. So, how does it work and where do the batteries go? People always do ask me that question. Um, and you don't need a battery. Uh, it's as simple as the grid becomes your battery. When you're not using that power in your home, it's going back onto the grid. When you come home and you start pulling that energy back in, it's at the same rate. So, simply put, the grid is your battery. Every time you export back onto the grid, you're paid at exactly what you're, uh, what you're buying at. So if you're buying at $0.05 cents a kilowatt hour, you're going to get compensated $0.05 cents a kilowatt hour. Ron sells electricity to the grid when his solar overproduces, and he buys it back when the sun isn't shining. The grid is indeed his battery. Okay, you want to see my negative electricity bill? So we're overproducing. They actually paid me. I offset all my fixed charges. And that's not the first month in a row. That's not the first month. This is like third month in a row. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what about snow? We produce um, over 90% of our total annual uh, electricity generation uh, between the months of March and October. So uh, for that additional 10%, I'm not going to go onto my roof and shovel my solar panels. Plus, normally what happens is the snow sloughs off eventually. Through the process of learning about solar, Ron found that solar and energy efficiency work very well together. Yeah, I think both of them works together, and we didn't realize that in the beginning. Um, but as we started to find that we could reduce our consumption, then we saw the real benefit of, oh, we're overproducing now, what are we going to do with this extra electricity? Ron invested in energy efficiency before and after his solar project. By using his own solar electricity, Ron avoids all those pesky administration, transmission and delivery charges, and he can fuel an electric car for a fraction of the price of a gasoline vehicle. So it used to be that people only did it for environmental reasons because of the cost and the payback for so long. But now with costs dropping in, in the uh, price of equipment and then the rebates that are available from Energy Efficiency Alberta, uh, I'd say it's 50-50 environmental and then also economical. And even with current electricity prices, solar is cheaper when averaged over the 25-year guaranteed life of a solar system. 
So the economic payback, I mean, over the long term, it's going to be more cost effective than buying electricity off the grid. Um, that's what we kind of try to drive home with potential clients, is that really you're going to pay for the system anyway. It's just a matter of whether you're going to pay for it on your average or monthly utility bill or whether you invest in your own system and then eventually have it paid off and then get your electricity for free. So what does it cost to go solar? The average home in Alberta uses 7,200 kilowatt hours of electricity in a year. If we assume the installed price of solar is about $3 a watt, in Calgary, Alberta, you would need a solar system of 5.5 kilowatts. That'll cost you about $16,500. Edmonton still gets great sun, but there you'll need a slightly larger solar system of 6.3 kilowatts, which would cost about $18,900. You may pay more or less, and rebate programs may reduce this by up to 25%. Ron Kube did his homework and figured it was worth the price for his budget and the planets. So for us, the biggest benefit is uh, lowering our carbon footprint. Um, we were concerned about uh, climate change and, and uh, wanted to be able to do something. Um, and so putting, putting electricity, uh, deferring the, the coal-powered uh, electricity by using solar uh, allowed us to do, to do our small part. If you're keen to go solar, find a good contractor. Ron suggests checking solaralberta.ca for a list and then be sure to check references. Then be happy. You're joining a growing community of people using clean solar energy. Want more details? Check out our blog, podcast, and photos at greenenergyfutures.ca. If you like this video, be sure to watch for part four in our Smart Home series, our top 10 tips for energy efficiency. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. Love the idea of going solar? How about taking your home all the way to net zero energy? Peter Darlington took his 1980s home all the way to net zero. It's now solar powered and has no gas line. Then he started a company to help others renovate their homes to net zero. You just might be living in your future net zero home.